Mi câu We have no paid employees. So no one is paid and everything that you give is going straight to the dogs. We've spent thousands on individual dogs needing surgery. What I really care is maybe a group of 20, 25 people that I know could give. They all have dogs. They all are crazy about their dogs. They will spend hundreds of dollars in medication if the dog is sick, but they cannot even give a box of biscuit. I don't understand. They have to want to give of themselves and their time. and. I find something interesting though, when they do come up and they leave and they've been here for the day a couple hours, they leave with a happy heart. I am not afraid of it. I don't have uh, problems with her. These are our, our best friends. There's one thing, you can scold them and they come back and lay at your feet, like, we're sorry. So you can't get really mad at them, though. Sadly, when people come and they do not adopt, so no one gets to go to their new home that day, all the dogs that they met are sad. They're depressed. You see their faces down. They even watch the gate. They watch them drive away. And a few minutes after they're gone, they'll even cry and howl. My family brought me home cradled in their arms. They cuddled me and smiled at me and said I was full of charm. They played with me and laughed with me and showered me with toys. I sure do love my family, especially the little girls and boys. The children loved to feed me. They gave me special treats. They even let me sleep with them and snuggled in the sheets. I used to go for walks, often several times a day. They even fought to hold the leash, I'm very proud to say. Those are the things I'll never forget, a cherished memory. I now live in the shelter without my family. They used to laugh and praise me when I played with that old shoe, but I didn't know the difference between the old one and the new. The kids and I would grab a rag. For hours we would tug. So I thought I did the right thing when I chewed the bathroom rug. They said that I was out of control and would have to live outside. This I didn't understand, although I tried and tried. The walks stopped one by one. They said they hadn't time. I wish that I could change things. I wish I knew my crime. My life became so lonely in the backyard on a chain. I barked and barked all day long to keep from going insane. So they brought me to the shelter, but were embarrassed to say why. They said I caused an allergy. And then they kissed me goodbye. If I'd only had some training as a little pup, I wouldn't have been so hard to handle when I was all grown up. You only have one day left, I heard the worker say. Does that mean I have a second chance? Do I go home today? Unfortunately for most, they do not leave alive. Husky Haven of LA is often their last chance and hope. There are more Huskies on their last hours this year than ever before. We need your monetary donations physical help at the kennel, and sponsorship through the Chase Community Giving Program. Thank you for considering to help us save these wonderful, deserving Huskies. Please vote for Husky Haven of LA so that we can continue our life-saving work.